Hi everybody, it's Sierra Sullivan here. I'm actually broadcasting to you from my new Lifestyleized Success Center. But I'm not going to give you the tour because we are nowhere near ready to unveil the look and feel of the space yet. So if you want to check it out, save the date for Friday, August 5th. If you live in the Saratoga Springs, New York region, you'll definitely, definitely want to come and uh, be part of our grand opening. So I wanted to just make this quick little video for you because this weekend I had a real eye-opening experience. It's something that happens from time to time and it's something that I thought would be useful and um, helpful to you. As women, we tend to put ourselves last on our to-do lists. We get caught up in the giving and the sharing and the nurturing and the providing and the doing and all of the things that are important to us get put on the tops of our to-do list, and by the time the end of the day happens, things like exercise, meditation, quiet time, me time, bubble baths, whatever it is that feeds you, eating well, <laughs> that's a good one, tends to get put on the back burner and on the back burner and the back burner. Now, sometimes we're really good and we're in our routine and we're definitely taking care of ourselves, but the moment things get a little bit hectic, I know for me that's what happens and that's what happened to me this last couple weeks, I and my needs get put last. Now, I'm the only one to blame for that. I can't blame anyone else. It's my choice. However, what I realized was that you know, I've been traveling, I've been to LA, I've been having fun, I've been working hard, there's been a lot going on to get this center up. We finally found our new home, more on that another time, but it's been busy, 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 busy. So little by little by little, my routine, plus I've been <laughs> in between homes, living with friends, living out of suitcases, it's been a bit hectic, so I'm gonna cut myself a little bit of slack. However, that's what I had been doing. I've been cutting myself a little slack, and so, my stretching routine in morning and night has been slowly not happening. My meditation has been out the window. Uh, my eating habits have been a little bit off kilter because of all the travel and all the chaos and I've been eating a little too much sugar and so on and so forth. So, you know, sometimes these things don't mean much if you get off path, but as they accumulate more and more and more, what happens, or what happened to me, is that all of a sudden, I'm totally anxious, I'm totally short-fused, um, and I have a blow-up. So that happened to me on Saturday. Everything kept building and building and building, and I didn't notice, and I just kept eating food that wasn't supportive to me. I kept missing my meditation, and I kept not giving myself the time I needed to stretch. I haven't been in nature as often as I'd like, which is a huge, huge, huge thing for me. And so on Saturday, all these little things started to add up and I totally had a crazy moment. <laughs> you know those moments where everything is just, you just wanna blame the world and you're so angry and you're so frustrated and you lash out usually at the one you love the most, like your husband or your best friend or <laughs> you know your brother or your sister. Well, that's what happened to me. So I was like, what is my problem? I couldn't figure it out. And then yesterday, I knew I needed to get in nature. I took a 40 minute walk in the woods with my dog and I realized, oh right, that's what happened. I didn't give myself the things that I need the most to stay grounded and centered and, and focused in my life. And over time, over the course of several weeks, that started to really affect me until it added up into one big meltdown. <laughs> so what can you do? What are you putting off today that you know feeds you, that you know nourishes your soul, that you know helps you to stay grounded and stable in your life? And is it something that you've been putting off, putting on the back burner, not doing because you're busy, you've got all the circumstances in the world that you can blame, but what is it? What is one or two things that you are noticing in your life that you have been missing out on that is really important to you. And I encourage you to not wait until it adds up and you have a meltdown. Don't wait, it's not worth it. Because what happens is that spirals and then you get other people all upset. And in the end, you have a breakdown, breakthrough. You've heard me talk about this before if you've been watching my videos. However, I'm now more aware that these are non-negotiable. That 15 minutes of meditation 
adds up. And I'd rather take 15 minutes a day for my meditation than have a 24-hour period where I'm totally off and upset and depressed or whatever. So that's my little insight for this week. I hope you can take something away from this. Please feel free to share what are the things that you love to do that keep you grounded, that keep you on point, and make sure to fit yourself into your day today, tomorrow, this week. Thanks for watching. Check you soon.